hello hello people we are going to do a troubleshooter match up chart um i'm pretty happy to do this i've had a lot of time with the character and right now i'm arguably considered the best with the character uh winning a tournament with the character which is pretty pretty hype so troubleshooter very good at everything jack of all trades for sure for sure um no clear weaknesses in my opinion the the biggest one you could pull is maybe like a eight frame normal that's pretty slow compared to the rest of the cast so eight frame normal pretty bad but other than that i think the character is very well rounded and also i think that his matchup spread is pretty uh well rounded as well so we're gonna get into this so i'm gonna kind of talk about why and where i think some of these characters fall um right and this is my opinion right now on the character like for sure for sure this is this is my opinion right now on the character i think launcher is a bad matchup i think her projectile durability and the way her projectiles work is like really good yes i can you know potentially get some random hit and potentially win the game however that's the nature of troubleshooter uh, but I definitely think the launcher matchup in time it could definitely go to the even mark. But I do think uh, launcher has a clean advantage when used at the highest level. If you use her projectile, it's really good. I actually think that launcher does pretty pretty good in the matchup, uh, utilizing all her projectiles comfortably and uh, stopping troubleshooters approach and kind of what the character wants to do um striker striker is definitely an even matchup troubleshooter has a lot of tools to keep her out but the fact that she does uh have 6m the shoulder it definitely makes troubleshooter have to play a more honest game and be clearly aware of all of the options that could potentially happen if you throw a bad nade or throw a bad projectile you could definitely get shouldered off the wall for all of your life but it's also when he covers all of his angles it's very hard for her to maneuver through the neutral especially with the neutral being so crazy at all times so that one is definitely an even matchup uh it could go either way uh grappler is in troubleshooter's favor like severely uh grappler can actually not do anything about 2a uh 2a is a very very long reach of poke troubleshooters 2a is like the best in the game for sure uh 2a 5c is my main block string that i use against the character to kind of check all of the armor detects because if y'all didn't know the armor definitely loses to lows so if you are doing your best low starter against grappler that's a really good way to approach the matchup however grappler can definitely jump on top of your button and has a lot of really good jump ins that's where you just cover your offense with safety uh with troubleshooter if you have conversion you can always convert but you also want to just pay attention in the neutral because you can always uh dp when this character jumps and or 2c for a really really damaging combo you just have to play the neutral um it's a perfect spacing that you want to play against this character so grappler can get through a lot of our projectiles however you can also cover that with lows on top of you just want to play at a range where the uh, shoulder charge will whiff and the jump in uh will not connect on you so beyond that i definitely think the matchup is severely in troubleshooter's favor really badly um i actually think troubleshooter beats ghostblade i actually had a couple sets with ghostblade today but even previous to that I think Troubleshooter does really good against Ghostblade simply because no uppercut and a lot of Troubleshooter's pressure becomes real on Ghostblade because no uppercut. Only has a teleport. The teleport's not too good. Um, the teleport is like really mediocre, but with Troubleshooter's pressure on top is neutral, putting down landmines at a full screen, uh, you really run no risk because Ghostblade can't teleport. Teleport is would be very unsafe, even with um, the ghost. So I don't really think this character has too many options against Troubleshooter rather than playing the traditional uh, Ghostblade game, which will be like with punishment and stuff like that. So. I don't, I don't think that uh, matchup is 
that much of an issue. Um, when it comes down to Hitman, I actually think that uh, Troubleshooter does really well against Hitman for the simple reason that you can actually uppercut the, the round harvest string, 6M, the plus string, you can actually uppercut the gap every single time. You would only have to be careful if Hitman has white life. But beyond that, the fact that you can uppercut that gap and all of your neutral, which would be Nade and Landmine, is like super good against this character. This character's approach, it's like really hard for Hitman to approach you on the ground and or the air because of jump back Nade. So it's definitely a completely winnable match for hitman but the hitman has to play really good and once awakened uh that's when it's more evenish but in general troubleshooter definitely uh kind of dominates hitman for sure for sure lost warrior i think lost warrior the fact that lost warrior gets fuzzy looped on top of 5b pretty much kills jump back back dash and um jump air fireball stuff like that just gets destroyed by troubleshooter so and you can fuzzy loop this character in the corner uh as long as you keep your mana healthy you can literally just fuzzy loop the character to death so i don't really think without this character taking a risk I actually don't think this character has too much of a shot against Troubleshooter if you play the matchup properly. I think um, at neutral, even the character struggles, very slow buttons and slow um, slow approach. And you can uppercut most of everything on reaction as well. So Next, Vanguard. I actually think Troubleshooter does very good against Vanguard as well, just simply because of projectiles. Uh, the projectile game and the spacing game like vanguard actually has no options versus projectiles so if you're throwing nades and you are also doing the landmine uh and by landmine i mean uh 214 m vanguard just cannot do anything character literally cannot do anything uh jumping is very risky because 2c so it, as long as you have a mine down you can literally kind of 2c for free in that range and hit vanguard if the vanguard jumps so i don't really see an option for vanguard outside of like literally getting a raw hit and just trying to convert off of it and that's vanguard's game in general so i don't i don't find that really threatening and remember, folks, this is just my opinion on Troubleshooter's matchups thus far that I've experienced. DK is 5-5. Five five. I used to think it was bad. I mean, I used to think that, like, DK kind of destroyed Troubleshooter. But you just have to play the matchup a little different. You have to focus more on 5B as your main poke to keep her out of the air and keep her from um, doing Nest Trap. As long as you 5B in the matchup, you'll be okay. Um, and 5C Astra pressure. Like when she makes you block Astra, you want to hit 5C as fast as possible because you'll hit Astra and her. Uh, so that's a really, really good tactic to do against Dragonite to make the matchup a little easier because the matchup was only hard because Dragonite was in the air a lot. And it was hard to contest her in the air without taking a risk. But really, you don't have to take risks. You can pretty much stay grounded. You just have to uh, use the right normals and pick your spots a little, little better, honestly. Konoichi is 5'5". Five five. Uh, she's very mobile and much faster than us. However, uh, 2C... 2C and Nade do really, really good against her. 2C, Nade, and uh, 236M uh, do really good against her. Uh, keeps her out the air. Keeps her from, like, jump kunaiing all day. And once you get that one hit, you can literally just run your game against Konoichi. And it's pretty much, like, it's cat and mouse like she's super fast so it's hard to catch her but you could definitely catch her because a lot of your tools are basically uh meant to catch her the way she like her play style the way she plays uh your toolkit is meant to catch her but you have to take your time because a lot of konoichis have really good movement and they can kind of bait out a lot of things that we like to do so uh that's that's definitely a more patient match for sure 
Inquisitor. I'll put that 5-5 five, five simply because Inquisitor's dash uh, attack can actually hit Troubleshooter for doing jump back nade, and it can actually hit nade uh, in between nade. Like when Troubleshooter actually throws the nade, Inquisitor can actually command dash through and uh, punish with a really, really good punish. So I, I feel like the fact that um, you actually have to play really, really good nade game, you can't just throw nades on top of like her uh her aerial the spinning attack is like super good against troubleshooter like super good against troubleshooter uh and even at neutral like that move is like really good against a lot of troubleshooters not only buttons but if troubleshooter tries to go air to air with um jumping uh m she can do it too hers always wins that's that angle that hers hits at it's like really good I think button wise, they're both kind of slow. So that that part is pretty even. But I think everything else in the matchup is pretty even. They could kind of do the same thing to each other. So I don't think there's a clear advantage on either side. Swift Master. Even. Uh Swift is good. Best character in the game, good. But I feel like you can actually kind of litter the screen against this character outside of the dead zone of charge C. You can actually kind of litter the screen. And if this character makes one mistake, you can actually potentially win off the next hit. So that makes a big difference when you're fighting a character like Swift. Because uh, Troubleshooter already has TOD combo. So it'll be no uh, no struggle to TOD Swift Master. Swift actually kind of has to play the matchup a little slower. Not as fast. But still an uh, even-ish matchup. Because while you do have a lot of health, Swift hurts. And I think the ability that uh, Swift possesses just in neutral is kind of auto. So you have to play better than the Swift Master to beat him. But I also think the Troubleshooter's tool set is uh, equipped pretty well to fight Swift Master, I would say. I think this is another matchup where Troubleshooter wins. I mean... The thing is, Crusader can get you, but I feel like 5B, super good against Crusader because of a, a huge hitbox. So it's really easy to hit that character for like jumping back and trying to do things. Round start is like super good too. Um, But it's really good at catching like jump backs and movement because on counter hit, it combos into 236M. So I think the tool, the tool set of troubleshooter versus crusader is like super good on top of you could just fuzzy loop that character in the corner so if you ever get a hit that character automatically hits the corner and gets fuzzy looped which is not fun on top of troubleshooters um jumping am also baits crusaders reversal if you hit crusader and then you go into m just jump m you'll win you win that exchange and you can literally kill off that combo I definitely think Crusader has to work a little harder against uh, Troubleshooter at the highest level. Like, you have to be playing the matchup. This is all assuming that you're playing at the highest level. Because if not, Crusader is definitely like a 5-5. Five -five. But at the highest level, actually eliminating options, Troubleshooter definitely beats Crusader. Berserker's even. It's really not much to say about the matchup beyond... Uh, y'all both have range y'all both can convert um y'all both do mad damage and that's literally the matchup it's it's really nothing specific that i've come across in that matchup that's like hey like troubleshooter can do this or berserker can do that like no it's literally both both characters are basically doing the same thing with really good pressure really good buttons and the ability to convert anything and go for more mix-ups so i think that's like evenly matched for sure i used to think ranger was bad however i think it's even at the highest level i think at the highest level it's even uh the thing about ranger is like you have to play that matchup really patient. Ranger also has a really huge hitbox, so you can't fuzzy, but a lot of your combos 
have zero chance of dropping because uh ranger's legs are really long so creates a bigger hitbox and it's just one of those matchups where as long as you kind of play patient and don't get guard broken you can hit ranger one time and basically kill him if you block a ranger uppercut that's actually ggs so ranger shouldn't be really uppercutting against you uh troubleshooter can literally take anybody for uppercutting but the thing about ranger ranger's uppercut has no pushback so it's just auto death but i will say the zoning can be very annoying but if you pick your shots with like 236 m is really good against ranger if you pick your spots properly uh jump nade is okay it depends on how and when you use it though it's not auto like some matchups because you really can't jump around a lot in this um matchup you can get anti-aired easily but you have to pick your spots because usually when ranger with something ranger is like wide open so i actually think troubleshooter beats enchanters a uh, nade literally does everything for you like it destroys all of her like traps and all of her projectiles like it's nothing she can do about you doing nade she can do the uh the move where it steals your mp but that move is costly and you generally can recover before any of that even matters especially if you're throwing nade on reaction to like projectiles like she actually can't do anything on top of you hit her once like it's ggs it's literally gg shake my hand her pressure in the corner is good against everybody but the fact that you do have an uppercut and it's long reaching it's literally curtains for that character so this is my troubleshooter matchups i think this character is literally one of the most dangerous characters in the game and um the only one that could change is this one so i'm gonna work at this one more this one could change but the rest of them i'm pretty set in stone i really do think that troubleshooter has really good matchups across the board and potentially only loses to launcher youtube thank y'all for watching until next time peeps peace